welcome back guys uh, this time around I thought I'd take a look at the uh, probably everybody's number one uh, Linux distribution for beginners uh, so I downloaded Linux Mint 17.2 cinnamon and I am extremely impressed they always put out a great product uh, everything works right out of the box configuration is easy I uh, tweaked just about every aspect of it because to be quite honest I don't like the Linux Mint <coughs> aesthetic I don't care for the greenish uh, color of all of the icons to me it just looks a little blah so what I did is I um, let's go to the menu and let's take that okay so for the backgrounds I just selected a plain background from one of the ones that was here uh, I think it was in the earlier, although I could be wrong. No, it's the Pearl from Raffaella. That's the background that I have. And, <clears throat> and of course, you can uh, configure just about every aspect of your desktop. Now on the themes, I downloaded um, all of the I downloaded all of the Numix themes. <clears throat> so, because I <clears throat> I like Numix, it's plain, but it's I think it looks really sharp. So you can do Numix in blue, uh, Numix cinnamon which has an underline on the uh, open windows. And then Cinnamon 2 has the full orange block. Um, but those are the uh, only themes that I downloaded that was the Numix themes. For icons, I downloaded the Fienza and the Fiance. And right now I'm using the Fiance Azure. Um, I like the blue. I could go with the <clears throat> the orange um, to stay in with the the new mix theme, but I did not do that. Um, and so everything uh, looks good. I've got all my icons up in the top. I moved the uh, the panel from the bottom to the top. I also uh, changed the width of the panel, not the this width but the the height and I changed that I made it a little bit higher um, I also installed plank and use the default theme on plank um, I added I added uh, synapse And I added Clip It. I added P Sensor. And of course, Redshift. There's Kazam. I've got GUVC View. Those are my uh, battery, keyboard, and mouse. I have a wireless mouse and wireless keyboard. Uh, volume. Of course, my Ethernet and my wireless were configured properly right out of the box. Bluetooth, these are removable drives. And my settings, um, basically log out, switch user, things like that. So uh, on the desktop, I just have the um, standard icons on the desktop. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it comes with a lot of various software uh, before I get into the menu items 
I will say that GUVC view, this is not a mint issue. Uh, it, I believe it's a, a GUVC view issue. The, sta the, the addition of the version that comes with the uh, Ubuntu installs, Linux Mint, this happened to me on Ubuntu also. Uh, from the Ubuntu repos, the uh, Linux, the GUVC view, I believe, is 1.7. It doesn't work for some reason. Uh, you get a black screen, but there is a fix for it. And basically, you have to add a repo for the GUVC view testing repo, where you can pull in version 2, and it works right out of the box um, in any Ubuntu version. So let me show you that so if you add this PPA right here sudo add apt repository PPA PJ assist and testing you don't have to concern yourself with all of these things just that one line and then do an update and then sudo apt get install guvc view you'll pull in the uh, version 2.0 testing which works perfectly in ubuntu right out of the box no issues at all and so i'll put that uh, ppa in the sh in the notes in the comments okay so you'll have that uh, other than that uh, i didn't have to do anything everything installed properly um, so with this video, I'm using my usual Kazam and GUVC view. I did install uh, Voco screen, but it did not function for some reason. So I just left it there and I'm using Kazam and GUVC view. I will use OpenShot to, uh, to finish the video. So for accessories, all kinds of, uh, much more than the usual you've got an archive manager but you've got all everything you could possibly need uh, as far as accessories go an image writer a stick formatter uh, so a Linux Mint um, is really a full featured distribution so there really, really isn't a whole lot for you to have to install uh, for graphics it's got G thumb which is what I usually install Internet is Firefox, uh, Hexchat, Pigeon, Thunderbird Mail. I would install Chromium and Agiri for my mail. For Office, you have LibreOffice. Sound and Video, it Banshee is installed. I usually install that. I, I installed a GUVC View, Kazam, OpenShot, Vocal Screen. VLC came out of the box. Administration, you've got everything that you could possibly need, including GDB, uh, printer, I installed PSensor, you've got your software manager, sources, Synaptic, uh, update manager, which Linux Mint has a nice, very nice update system. They let you know if there is an update, there's an icon in your taskbar which will tell you that there's an update waiting for you and uh, I've already updated everything on the system. For preferences you've got account details, applets, so you can add all kinds of applets to your panel and there's quite a large selection of applets available. You've got your backgrounds, Bluetooth, date and time, desklets um, and those there, the desklets um, there's a clock, digital photo frame, launcher, uh, but you can install a ton of them that are online just waiting for you, for you to install. You can add an AccuWeather desklet. A lot of these have some decent functionality. Some of them are just eye candy, um, but uh, you, you could take a look at that and decide which ones are, are right for you. Okay, so back to the menu. Uh, let's see, so we've got desktop sharing, display, effects, extensions, uh, let's see, I want to see Windows, I 
Okay, so you have a setting for centering your newly opened windows. <clears throat> so that's usually all I care about is uh, making sure that when the windows open, they're centered in the screen. And for places, of course, you've got all your folders and any external drives um, that you might have and then recent files. Now in system settings for appearance, you've got background, effects, fonts, themes. Let me check the effects, window effects. I have that on. So I'm, uh, that's probably, um, that's probably the, um, oh, the comp is. Um, manager so that's probably what that's doing and let's see customize I usually leave everything on the default and these are just really a icon listing of everything that we went through in the menu now for startup applications it's very easy uh, you can add items to the startup menu and when you go to add you can choose an application this is pretty nice because if you don't know um, how to enter the application or the command uh, then all you need to do is choose application it brings up a list of what you have and then you can designate any of these for a startup when your system boots very, very nice. I like the way they did that. Okay, so the only thing I wanted to check is uh, screen tearing. Now, there is a website, and I'm going to find it. And this is it. So if you run this, um, if you have any screen tearing, it'll show up. Now, I'm not sure how this looks on the video. I didn't do anything special to the uh, graphics configuration, and I'm not seeing any screen tearing. So uh, that's a credit to um, Linux Mint because most times there is some screen tearing, uh, but I'm not seeing any right now. Now, there is a uh, there is a fix if you have screen tearing, and if you if you're uh, if you have a, a a big issue with screen tearing, let me know. Uh, drop me a comment, and I will uh, point you to a possible solution. I've tested it and uh, it does work. I didn't need it with Linux Mint, but I have implemented it in the past. So that is it for this video, guys. Linux Mint Raffaella 17.2 Cinnamon. A terrific, terrific um, distribution. If you're looking for an, uh, a very intuitive, easy to uh, configure, easy to learn, easy to find your way around uh, and you're just new to Linux or even if you you've been using Linux for a while um, I really can't find fault with anything on Linux Mint except for the the aesthetics I, I don't really care for the look out of the box but when you can configure it like I did and you can pretty much tweak everything to your liking then uh, Gee, what's not to like? It's it's a very, very nice distribution. So this is a two big thumbs up. And um, Linux Mint, as usual, uh, as and I've always said in the past, even though Linux Mint is not something that I use every day, I uh, regard it highly. And I think that they do a wonderful job with their distributions. So that is it, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.